Hello everyone, I'm Professor Seth Benzel of Chapman University, and I'm here to talk to you about some preliminary work with Sanana Rall and Avid Ignash Kallis on measuring social media network effects across platforms. So why should we care about social media network effects? Uh, if you're at this conference, you probably are already sold, but one reason I think they're very interesting is, is that not all connections are created equal. And if you think about um, the success of Facebook vis-a-vis -vis MySpace, uh, MySpace had a tremendous advantage initially in terms of numbers of users. In September of 2006, MySpace had 88 million more users than Facebook, but Facebook was able to come, overcome that initial advantage in user count. We speculate, especially Sanan in his new book, because the types of connections on Facebook were more valuable than the types of connections on MySpace. College friends are kind of more exciting to talk to than people who would just have a shared interest in a band. So more generally, if you're a platform manager or a regulator, you should care about these network effects because you're going to need to know them to do things like predict platform growth, um, understand which side of a platform to monetize and how intensely, right? You want to monetize sides that don't give positive network effects and you know, even subsidize sides that have big positive network effects and help you decide on a launch and user acquisition strategy. So the way that we're going to attack this question is with a few different types of surveys. Um, we're going to measure network effects on our four major platforms, so Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Our first approach will be a large, what we call a large N uh, willingness to accept experiment. So we're going to use Google surveys and go out there and ask people, would you be willing to give up friends of type X for a certain amount of monetary compensation for a month? And we're going to do 320,000 of those, so 80,000 per, uh, per uh, platform. That's currently out uh, getting re uh, responses right now. And then a medium N focus group style survey, of about 1,500 users per platform, where we ask them to rank their top eight, uh, eight people um, that they know on the platform. And then we ask people their ego characteristics to the survey taker and then the alter characteristics of these different people that we're asking to rank in terms of friendship importance. So, so far we've completed uh, the survey for Facebook for this medium end survey. So what I'm going to show you the preliminary results on today are from that. We ask them to list eight friends, four best friends and four random friends. We ask a whole bunch of different alter characteristics, so characteristics of those friends whole bunch of ego characteristics, so characteristics of the survey taker. Um, as we collect these surveys, we work really hard to make sure that these are real people with real opinions, so we throw out about two-thirds of the surveys we initially get. Um, and so I'm going to show you some responses now in ego and alter characteristics and where do they prevent, present, uh, predict friend rank as well as um, overall value of the platform, which is something we also solicit in this medium end survey. So we're going to use two approaches for those friend rank questions. So just straight up OLS regressions in some subsets of the characteristics. You don't want to you know, there's obviously issues of multiple hypothesis testing and overfitting. And then we're going to try one big specification where we throw everything and its interactions into a pot and then use lassos to make sure that we're not overfitting. So the high level, our strongest results are that the best friends are most valuable, not particularly surprising. But maybe more surprising, those you see more often are considered more important to be connected to on Facebook, as well as people that you're connected to on other platforms, which suggests that connection in real life and on other platforms is perhaps more complementary than substitutable for, that, uh, for connection on Facebook. And we particularly find that males value connection to opposite gender uh, connections. So those are some of the most important connections in terms of top rank. So we see, and then so you value people more that you see more often. Um, family members or friends are valued more than college friends and shared interest friends. Opposite gender friends and female friends are more valued. Connections on Instagram are more valued. Some lasso results. And then finally, we ask people to give their total value for the platform. And here we see that uh, people who tend to have 
more uh, African American and white friends tend to value Facebook less than people who have Hispanic and Native American friends and mixed race friends. Um, and that the more female friends you have, the less valuable Facebook is. And then finally, that your total friend count, uh, each friend we find is worth about 0.4 cents per month. So this, is, this information isn't self-reported. You have to friend us, and then we grab the names of all your friends, and then we're guessing their sex and race uh, based on their names or their gender and race based on their names. So thanks so much uh, for bearing with us in this interesting preliminary results, and we really look forward to seeing how the rest of the surveys come in.